Hey everybody, I'm Tony Masillis from CBSNews.com. I'm here with Dr. John LaPook from the Evening News, and tonight on the program he's going to be reporting about a huge breakthrough in stem cell research. And John, do you want to tell us just a little bit about it? Well, this is a huge breakthrough because, as you know, this has been a very controversial field because in order to make these stem cells, the kind of cells that can morph into any other cell in the body, previously you've had to do things like destroy human embryos to get the most powerful type, the type that could go into any different cell. There are other types of stem cells that aren't quite as nimble, not as powerful, not as useful. Well, today, two different labs have reported that they can create these stem cells, the most powerful type, from just plain human skin cells. And obviously the ethical debate is the biggest one out there uh, in the medical community. So this breakthrough that you're saying is in some way going to mitigate that? It's going to mitigate it. It will not end it because and this is the single most important distinction to make here. Okay, When people think about using stem cells, they think about using it to treat people. Somebody has a spinal cord injury, you give them stem cells and magically it repairs the spinal cord. Okay, That's not going to happen tomorrow. And it's not going to happen tomorrow with these type of stem cells because unfortunately when you fiddle around with the DNA, you also increase the chance that the cell can become cancerous. So the thought of treating people with stem cells is still a ways away, although we're now a little bit closer. But the most exciting thing, the thing that we can start doing tomorrow, is you can start studying what is a normal cell like, what is a normal nerve cell like, and in fact, what is an abnormal one like. You can take somebody who has Alzheimer's disease, for example, take their skin, put it in a Petri dish, a little hocus pocus, bring it down into a stem cell, a little more hocus pocus, and tease it up into becoming a nerve cell. Now it's a nerve cell of somebody who has Alzheimer's disease, okay? Same genetic component. You could start studying that under the microscope, and maybe, maybe if you're lucky, you'll actually catch the moment when it turns from being normal to abnormal, or if not that, you can start looking at it in real depth and start saying, what makes it different from a normal cell. Once you know why it's different from a normal cell, then you can start thinking about ways to treat the problem. John, when these studies come out, there's always so much excitement in the medical community, but mm -hmm. one of the biggest criticisms about embryonic stem cell research is that it actually has yielded very little in terms of real results for right. the medical community. Isn't that true? That's, that's absolutely true, and there's been a lot of hope, and of course a lot of people who are just hanging on this type of research because they need it so desperately. When you think about the potential of people who have diabetes, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, who knows what the applications can be. But this is still extraordinarily exciting especially to me, to people who are, are looking for ways to understand what goes wrong in disease, because we've never had such a terrific tool for studying both normal cells and abnormal cells. And you think about it, if somebody has Alzheimer's, what am I going to do, take their brain out while they're living and look it under right. a microscope? You can't do that. Here, you can actually look at living cells. From, and I stress living, as opposed to taking a specimen after a person has died, you're actually looking at these cells while they're alive, and you can look at them very closely, see what goes wrong, and also, you can maybe start thinking about what drugs could you use, and testing it in the Petri dish instead of using live guinea pigs. We saw a very dramatic video of heart cells that came from skin. The skin cells went down to these stem cells, and then all of a sudden, as they start growing and becoming into heart cells, they start pumping. You see them beating. Wow. You know, you know, and, and it's just stunning. And then you think, oh, they're beating? Maybe I'll start dropping some stuff into it and see what happens. Well, it does sound really exciting. I know you're going to have a lot more information tonight on the CBS Evening News with Katie Couric, so be sure to tune in. And thanks for watching.